All right, what's up guys? It's Craig Leonard from Craig Leonard Fitness here. Uh, today I, I'm going to demonstrate for you a, uh, a bicep lift. Uh, it's called a pinwheel curl. And so a pinwheel curl is done with a, a one or two dumbbells depending on uh, whether you want to uh, train both arms simultaneously or one arm at a time. And so uh, you just grab a dumbbell uh, with your desired weight, hold it in your hand, and a pinwheel curl is actually very similar to a hammer curl. So a hammer curl you will lift straight up whereas a pinwheel curl is actually going to be across your body. And so it really is a very, it's not a technical lift at all, it's very simple. Um, you should be able to master, master the pinwheel curl uh, within the first couple times of trying it. And so I, I generally prefer to train one arm uh, to exhaustion and then the other as opposed to doing uh, alternating arms uh, in one set and the reason for that is, for that, is that I, I found that for me personally it's a lot easier for me to keep form while I'm doing one arm at a time and then shift to the next arm uh, instead of kind of shifting your weight back and forth and, and alternating arms and I also find that I can keep the focus of the movement uh, on, on the bicep uh, when I train one arm uh, individually or each arm individually as opposed to alternating back and forth so uh, the pinwheel curl, is you just stand, stand with the with the dumbbell at your side, and then uh, just before you you initiate the movement, you're going to just kind of rotate your arm inward, and the dumbbell will be uh, parallel to the to the uh, front of your torso there, and you're just going to to raise the dumbbell across the front of your body, all the way up until um, basically full contraction. You're going to want to squeeze really hard there. Every every bicep movement that you do. At the, at the top of the concentric portion of the lift, you really want to squeeze, almost cramp the muscle as hard as you can. Uh, that's going to really get those neurons firing uh, and, and help maximize the hypertrophy you're going to experience there. Um, and, and also, when you're, when you're bringing the, the dumbbell up uh, from the bottom portion of the lift, you really want to, you, you want to fire as hard as you can. So it's, it's a really fast kind of lift. It's not, it's not one of these just kind of slow, steady uh, movements. Pretty much any lift that you do, where you're moving a, a, a weight through space, you always want to try to generate as much force as you can and, and move it as fast as possible. It's going to get the most motor neurons firing, it's going to fire them as hard as possible, uh, and, and you're going to get the most, uh, most muscle gains and strength gains uh, for, for your effort. So um, that's really it for the pinwheel curl. Uh, once again, it's, it's just bringing the dumbbell across, across your body, keep that elbow stationary, it should move very little, and all the, all the movement should be on your bicep, bring it up as hard as you can, Squeeze as hard as you can for, for a quick second, bring it down. The eccentric portion or the negative portion of the movement should be done in a controlled manner. Uh, you don't want to bring it up and then just kind of let it drop. Uh, you also don't want to go you know, extremely slow either. Um, you, you just want to do it, uh, bring it down in a controlled manner that's safe and, uh, and, and keeps your form and then explode back upward. So um, that's, that's really it right there, just right across the body. Boom, you know, you're done. So that's the pinwheel curl. Uh, it's a great, a great bicep movement. Uh, I hope, hope you enjoyed this and, and put it to use. And uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Uh, for more, more great information on, uh, on training and nutrition, check out my website at www.craigleonardfitness.com. See you.